Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you with little Delilah. She's our spirit guide and mascot on this channel, so she shouts out to everybody. She lays here and sits on the pillow. She's in her little hoodie today, so she's just, you know, yeah. <laughs> All right, so listen, top of the list. Don't forget, a syndicate of fagazi posers trying to scam you people out of your money. No one on my end, nor I, will ever contact you under any circumstances. So if anybody reaches out to you with whatever line of bullshit they're giving you, that's what I'm calling it, bullshit. They're trying to steal your money, okay? And YouTube does not have a return policy, so please be very mindful. If you need me, my information is in the box below, and that's how you contact me. Um, what else is there? Please, you know, I invite you to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to join me. I'd love to have you. And uh, if not, you know, whatever you whatever you feel resonated to do. But I'm saying that you should really, really, if you can't find it in your heart to hit the like button, then please hit the dislike button. But get your energy out there. Fight for it, people, because, yeah, the energy is very thick with these collectives. You know, it's worldwide. Um, don't be a gavone. That is to say, sharing is caring. So I encourage you to take only what resonates with you. Leave the rest for someone else. That's if something resonates. Don't make it resonate if it doesn't resonate. Time is linear. These readings are timeless, even though they're dated. When you come across it, when you're meant to see it. Um, also, we are gender neutral. I may say he or she, depending on the card that comes out, because it could be resonating in your feminine and masculine at any time. So please apply the energy to your situation. Also, it would be good to know your planetary placement, because you could be resonating in any one of your planets at any time. All right, so we're going to go from Pisces to Aries today. So here we go. Hey, Pisces, how are you guys? In case nobody told you today, I love you. Show me Pisces. Okay, Temperance. You have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So, you know, there might not be a new beginning. This could be ignorance. This could be financial instability, okay? This could be making mistakes with your money. Um, you're going to have to temper your emotions. This is a Sagittarius card. This is, you know, keeping it cool, not losing your top. You know, just biting your tongue, turning your cheek. Three of Wands. This is crossroads, right? This is discovery. This is your ships coming in. Waiting for your ships to come in and then deciding which one you want to get on, right? Show me. Show me Pisces, please, and thank you for their higher good. Seven of Wands. Okay, so there could be some, you know, aggression around you. This is um, standing your ground. This is one person fighting like, you know, everybody else. So you could feel like you're in the fight alone. Whatever that is, you know, uh, it could be, you know, something's going on at work. It could be something, you know, personal. Whatever this is, though, you're going to, whatever you're standing your ground on, you're going to wind up detaching from in the near future. You know, if not by the end of the day. This is fed up. I've had it. I'm done. I'm out of here. Okay. Now you got this page of cups coming in. This page is usually a younger person, but fair, young, and you, you, you know, fair, honest, you know, and reliable. You could Definitely be getting some information today. Show me. Please and thank you, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Can I please have cards of Pisces ancestors? Let's go today. Thank you. Wow. Okay. So now this is a cancer archetype. This is things you don't know. Secrets being kept, things being done behind your back, you know, things in the shadow that are not illuminated yet. And now you've got this Knight of Swords. Swords is the air energy. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Knight is um, indicative of somebody who's skillful, brave. They could be very straightforward, you know. They could have a temper. And it's a very fast-moving energy. So, you know, if th yeah, if this is somebody coming into, uh, it's not relationship material. This is somebody who's in for a good time, not for a long time, okay? One more for Pisces, please. Thank you. Hierophant. Okay, so this could, you know, this is it, traditionalism. This is marriage. This is religion. This is the Pope. This is the judge. They could. Some of you could be going through some legal troubles, or they could be coming down the pipe. This is contracts. So, yeah. All right, so with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this is, you know, ignorant, making financial mistakes, and instability. You're going to have to temper your emotions. Maybe, you know, not spend as much or just, you know, pull back the reins in some area. Whether it's, you know, not indulging with people who want to press your buttons or fight with you. But just, you know, Sagittarian energy. It's not, it's not indulging. You have this three of wands. This is, you know, 
I'm waiting for your ships to come in. This is crossroads. This is self-discovery. So, you know, and then deciding which ship you want to get on. Seven of Wands, you're standing your ground against aggressive people. You have this Eight of Cups. This is being fed up. I'm done. I'm out of here. Detachment. Page of Cups. This is a younger person. It's friendly. You know, it's communicative. It's reliable. It's innocent. But there are things that you don't know in a situation. There are secrets being kept from you somewhere along the line. Or someone's blowing smoke up your ass and lying to you. That's, you know, this is Cancer now. So you got Sagittarius and Cancer. Now you got this Knight of Swords, okay? This Knight of Swords is... You know, a younger energy or a very immature energy. It's somebody who, you know, swords is their energy. It's, it's the thinking energy. But this person is only thinking about themselves. It's like a booty call. In for a good time, not for a long time. Not relationship material. And then this hierophant, which is Taurus energy. This is, you know, legalities, traditionalism. So this person would not be the one, okay? If you're looking for like a marriage or a long-term relationship or something like that, this guy or female, this Knight of Swords is not the person. So thank you so much, Pisces. Love and light until tomorrow. Next up is Aquarius. Clear and grab my energy, please. Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. How are you guys? In case nobody told you today, I love you. Spirit and ancestors, please give me clear and concise messages for the higher good of Aquarius. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Aquarius, please. Aquarius, thank you. Okay, guys, you have... Okay, so you have the higher front right off the bat. So some of you could be going through some legal trouble. Some of you could be getting married. Some of you could be getting divorced. Some of you could be, you know, really honing into your religion. Um, whatever it is, though, you're going to be working hard and investing effort at it. You are experiencing some, some loss and hardship, okay? So whatever you're, you know, you, this is... Feeling sad about something that you lost instead of looking to see what you have already. This is also some kind of shame, okay? Maybe some of you did something that you know was wrong and you feel bad about it. Or somebody did something to you that they know was wrong and they feel bad about it. Knight of Wands. This knight is fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This knight is, you know, he's a fast talker. He's a player. He's in for a good time, not for a long time. You know, it's a quick-moving energy, Okay. This is somebody that's going to depart just as quickly as they came in. Okay, show me. Aquarius, please. Aquarius. Show me Aquarius, please. Thank you. Well, what, so, whoever I'm, who's ever resonating with this, you have a lot of burdens, okay? And this is coming into your near future. So something is going to, excuse me, burden you down. My nose is itching. Here we go. Oh, boy. Okay, Four of Cups. Whatever these burdens are, though, this four cups in reverse is that you, you know, you could be getting a new relationship, um, that you could see some omens and some stuff, um, but you are coming out of a place of nostalgia. Two of cups, there is an offer of emotion on the table and it will be reciprocated. Now, whether that's a friendship or a love offer, you know, doesn't necessarily have to be love, but it could just be some, you know, somebody making friends with you and you like them back and you can become friends, right? <clears throat> Show me. Show me Aquarius, please, and thank you. Okay, Aquarius. You have stability on the table, okay? So this is an Aries card. This is stability, four of wands. So something is stable in your life. If it's this offer of emotion, it's a stable offer that you could trust. But not with this Knight of Wands. Page of Cups. This is a younger water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is somebody who's fair. You know, they're, they're innocent. They're coming in. It's a trustworthy offer. They have no nefarious plans. So, yeah. All right. So, like I said, there could be some legal issues on the table. There could be some religious issues on the table. There could be <coughs> a marriage on the table. Whatever it is, you're going to be investing effort into it. There is some loss and sadness. This is, you know, melancholy, mocus, disgusted, weary, 
you know, and it could also be some shame in some capacity. You apply the energy. Knight of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In for a good time, not for a long time. This is a booty call, okay? This might cause you some burdens, right? This is going to cause you burdens if you get hooked up with this person. Because you're not going to be the only one in the mix. You're going to be like a side piece. So, whatever burdens they are, try to, you know, try to give whoever has some burdens that you're carrying for them back to them. You got this Four of Cups in reverse. This is, you know, you could have news. It, you could have a new relationship on the table. There could be an omen coming in. You know, um, you got this two of cups here. This is an offer of emotion. It could be a friendship or it could be a relationship, but it will be a stable offer, okay? Because there's stability on the table with it. And it could be coming in on the wings of this page of cups, which is a younger water energy, you know, fair, balanced, innocent, and friendly, okay? So thank you so much, Aquarius. Next up is Capricorn. By the way, Capricorn, I'm so sorry I went over you guys yesterday. I really apologize. Capricorn, show me Capricorn, please. Hi, Capricorn, how are you guys? I hope everything's great, and if nobody told you today, I love you. <clears throat> okay. Right over there, Dell. Out for the count as usual. Okay, show me Capricorn, please, and thank you. What does Capricorn need to say? Give me cards for Capricorn. Okay, we're in the upright. Okay, Seven of Cups in reverse. This is actually, <clears throat> you know, making a decision and sticking with it. This is taking all the options off the table and deciding, you know, which, which way you're going to go or, you know, which thing you're going to pick here because there's a lot of different cups. So it could be in any area of your life. It could be like deciding on what job to take. It could be deciding on who to date, where to live. Uh, you got this Ten of Swords in reverse. So that's actually really good. This is, um, you know, coming out of a place of um, burdens and, uh, and, and painful ending. So if you did have a painful ending, it's over. This also is somebody who's seeking profit. Like maybe you're looking to make some money. Okay. Show me. Show me. Okay. Now we have the moon. Okay. So there could be some secrets being kept, some things you don't know, lies being told to you, just the gazy crap going on behind your back. But there's justice. So there will be fairness and balance in a situation. So if there is crap going on behind your back, Aquarius, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to rectify itself. And this is going to happen fast, okay? This is now a uh, cancer archetype. This is the chariot. This is activity. This is fast forward movement. Something coming at you very quickly. Something moving very quickly in your life. It could be anything. So you have a cancer here. Uh, you have um, a Libra. Now you have, uh, yeah. Another cancer. Wow, that's a lot of cancer around here. So somebody that has a lot of cancer in their chart, or it's an actual cancer. Um, show me. The moon is also Pisces, so it could be Pisces too. Okay, here we go. You're going to be working hard at something, okay? There's something that you're going to be working hard at. It could be something that's coming in very quickly for you. Whatever this is for you, it's going to bring you to your ultimate success. And then you're going to be holding on tightly to something. Uh, you know, four of pentacles is not necessarily being stingy, okay? Some of you could be getting, you know, some kind of inheritance with this justice and this uh, success card here. It's going to come at you fast, but it might put you in a place of overthinking things. You know, maybe just, yeah, so don't be overthinking, all right? Just, yeah, try to snap out of it. This is self-imposed overthinking. This is driving yourself crazy, and it's not going to do you any good. So whatever options, you know, they're off the table and the burdens are gone with it, okay? So, But there is still things that you don't know and you don't see. But there is a breakthrough in a situation. Maybe you don't see it yet, okay? Something's coming at you very fast. You're going to be working very hard at this. You will be successful. Then you will be holding on tightly to what you worked for, right? And uh, just don't overthink stuff, okay, Aquarius? So thank you so much and we'll see you tomorrow. Next up, Sagittarius. Hi, Sagittarius. How are you guys? I hope everything's great. And if nobody told you today, I love you. Show me Sagittarius, please, and thank you. Sagittarius. Okay. 
Whatever burdens you were going through or painful endings, destruction, it's over, okay? It's over. It's in the past now. So you're coming out of that. You're snapping out of it. I'm glad to see that. Somebody could also be, you know, up around you or you could be seeking, you know, profit in the situation, monetary profit. Whatever this is, you're going to be working hard at it. If you are looking, you know, to make some money. Ace of Pentacles, you got a new beginning. So you, there is a new beginning. After this painful ending and destruction, now you're working hard towards your new beginning. And you're manifesting something. You got a Gemini card here now. You're manifesting, you know, whatever it is that you're going to make your life now because something is over. So now, you know, it's time for a new chapter, right? Tens are about the end. Show me. Okay. Yep, well, here we go. You got the Ten of Wands. These are burdens, okay? So whatever this is, it's going to come with some burdens. Maybe a lot of hard work, you know, whatever it is. But the painful ending's over, and the bur you know burdens are here now. But you're going to be working hard. You have this moon. These are things you don't know, things you don't see. This is a Cancer archetype. You got Gemini here, by the way. Um, so there could be lies being told to you, secrets being kept, things you just don't know. There's a King of Swords archetype. Oh, look, the King and the Queen. Oh, my God. That's so good, Sag uh, Sagittarius. This is your divine counterpart. So maybe you don't see, you know, them coming in. And a new beginning. Yeah, you're manifesting a new beginning with your counterpart. So it's on the table now. These is the king and queen of swords. This is air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the thinking couple. This is a power couple. This is somebody, you know, these are people that think about what they're going to do before they actually do it. Um, they don't even speak without thinking about it first. So, you know, this is really very good. This is a logical, organized energy, okay? People who are efficient, smart, and they solve problems. This also could be somebody in the military or the law. you got the Seven of Pentacles investing effort. So you will be investing effort at whatever this is. And this is a really good thing. So thank you, Sagittarius. So here you go. The burdens are lifted. You're going to be working hard. There's a new beginning that you're manifesting. You have some burdens that come with it because there's things that you don't know yet. But this is your divine counterpart. And you all got. You guys are going to be a power couple. And you're going to be investing a lot of effort in So that's like a really good reading. All right. Thank you, Sagittarius. Until tomorrow. Next up is Libra. Libra, Libra. Hi, Libra. How are you guys? In case nobody told you to... Oh, no. Okay, we're going to have to go back to Scorpio. We're going to do Libra and then Scorpio. Yep, because I called it. Show me what Libra needs to see. Anyway, Libra, in case nobody told you today, I love you. I popped right over Scorpio. Okay. These are in reverse, so let's do this over. I don't want to pull them out in reverse. Show me Libra, please. Libra. Here we go. Okay, judgment. So there is a breakthrough in a situation. Right now, whoever's going to resonate with this, there's some kind of a breakthrough in some kind of a situation in your life. It could be anything. And fairness and balance is being called, Libra. Okay, and this is you coming into your own reading here. So there will be fairness and balance with this breakthrough. Whatever this breakthrough is, it's going to bring you fairness and balance. There could be a Taurus energy around you. This is the Empress. This this. Breakthrough and this fairness and balance can be making you very abundant. You know, the Empress is beautiful. She's abundant. She's everything. She's all four queens in one. She has everything she needs or want, wants. Everybody's happy. You could be birthing new ideas. Somebody could be having a baby. You got the Six of Cups. You might be feeling a little nostalgic. Show me Libra. Libra, please. Queen of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who's not using their head. They're untrustworthy. They could be a backstabber. They, you know, they're malicious. They could be a bigot. They're very deceitful. So be careful of that energy. That's air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there could be a actual Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or somebody that has that in their chart. Now you got a Knight of Cups. This Knight is pretty alive. Excuse me. It's water energy. Oh, there goes my nose. It's, um, um... Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This knight is like the big brother. He's friendly. He's got a good demeanor. He's trustworthy, you know, kind. So that could be you or somebody around you today. There is going to be something that you're going to be holding on tightly to today with this Four of Pentacles. Now, this could be anything. This could even be holding on to your words without letting them out. But, you know, it could be holding on to your money, you know, just not letting people know what you have, all right? And so that's actually a really good thing, I always say, right? Somebody could be getting an inheritance as well. Um, and the King of Cups is here. So the King of Cups, who's your daddy? He's your daddy. This is like, you know, a very 
fair, balanced, warm, open-minded, responsible person. So this could be you or somebody else. Um, you do have the five of cups here, though. This is lost sadness. This is melancholy. This is, you know, feeling bad, you know, about what's gone. This also could be a little bit of shame. You know, if somebody did something wrong to you, they could, they could be embarrassed about it or, you know, vice versa. Mix it up. So you got a breakthrough in a situation that's going to bring you fair, fairness and balance. This is going to bring you to full abundance. Uh, you will be a little nostalgic. Somebody's not thinking, and they're being very cruel, very malicious, deceitful, you know. You got this Knight of Cups, though, coming in to offer you a cup. This is, like, reliable. This is um, friendly, big brother energy, okay? You will be holding on tightly to something, though, okay? This is, and some of you could be getting an inheritance with this Empress here and this Justice. You see how that goes? So, and you also got the King of Cups. Who's your daddy? He's your daddy. Fair, balanced, loving, supportive, you know, warm and affectionate. Um, but you could be going through some loss and sadness, okay? Or somebody could be embarrassed about something they did. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Libra. Next up is Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. How are you guys today? In case no one told you, I love you. Show me Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to see for their higher good? Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. Six of Cups. You could be feeling a little nostalgic. Uh, there's a Queen of Swords energy around. It could be you or somebody else, depending on your planetary placement. Air, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Queen of Swords is, you know, she's honest, powerful, commandful, logical, organized, efficient. This is somebody who's thinking about what they're doing and can easily solve problems. Show me. Show me Scorpio, please. Mm -mm. Knight of Cups. So this is, um, you know, like the big brother of the bunch. This is Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a warm, loving energy, friendly, you know, kind. So somebody could be coming in to ask you, you know, just be a friend. Maybe you want to go, you know, but it looks like you're not going to be taking a leap of faith here. So if this involves taking a leap of faith, you're not doing it. The Fool in Reverse. Uh, this is Aries Archetype. So at this time, you're not up for it. Whatever it is, you're not trying it out. You're not taking any chances. There is beauty, inspiration around you, abundance. This is, you know, prosperity. This is illumination. This is now the Aquarius card. So there could be an Aquarius around you, like I said, or somebody that has Aquarius in their chart. This also could be vulnerability, all right? Because this person is running around naked, which leaves you in a little vulnerable spot. But the divine shining down on you. That's coming in. You don't see it yet. So anytime today, right? Show me. Show me. Okay, you're going to be successful. Whatever this, whatever this is coming in that's, you know, beauty, brilliance, abundance, prosperity, illumination, it's going to put you in a very successful place. That's a good thing, Scorpio, right? Okay, here we go. Ah. Uh, Ace of Wands in reverse. So the Ace of Wands in reverse talks about, you know, some kind of failure or some kind of ruin. So you could have had some kind of failure in some situation in your life. This could have been with uh, an air energy. It's in, your, it's, in your, it's in your environment right now. Show me. Thank you. Gemini energy, you will be manifesting something, you know, this is having all the tools you need to make something happen in the way that you want. So that's actually a good thing. This also could be somebody playing tricks on you, because what does a magician do? He does tricks, right? You got this king of wands. This is the fire king, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This king is, um, wow. Okay, so this king is stern. He's unemotional. He's no nonsense. Now, it could be a feminine or a masculine energy, okay? So, you could be manifesting this um, coming at you. But be careful because this is a very cold energy. They're not friendly. They're, you know, they're no nonsense. I mean, this king will just as soon stick a knife in, in your head as look at you. So, you have to be careful with that energy. Um, it's a cold, dark energy. It could be somebody good looking, male or female. So here, you, you know, you got this nostalgic, 
but a logical thing, you know, logically thinking about it. And then you got this Knight of Cups coming in. This could be you or somebody else. You could be offering somebody a cup. Somebody could be offering you a cup. It's a water energy. It's friendly, you know, but you don't think, I don't think you're going to be taking a leap of faith with this. You're not going to be taking a chance. Something will be illuminated. Um, there could be prosperity in a situation. There also could be vulnerability if somebody's coming in to offer you, you know, to go out of something that can make them vulnerable. Um, you're looking at this from your mind's eye like, you know, it's, you've got a success. But really, it's unsuccessful because the Ace of Wands is in reverse. So you could be manifesting, you know, you could be manifesting this king here. Just be careful because this king is a cold person. This is not a warm, affectionate person. You know, so there you go. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Until tomorrow. Next up is Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Hey, Virgo. How are you guys? Hope everything's okay. And in case nobody told you today, I love you. Show me Virgo, please. Well, you're going to have some fast moving. This is fast forward movement. This is activity. So you're either moving very quickly into a situation, very quickly out of a situation, or you're going to have some fast coming information coming at you. Could be text, could be phone calls. This is... This information that's coming out, out or for you is going to bring a breakthrough in a situation. You got the page of pentacles in reverse. This page in reverse is somebody who's financially unstable, ungrounded. Um, you know, they're not very well prepared. They could be stubborn and irresponsible. Show me. Show me. There's a Capricorn archetype around you. This is toxic behaviors. This is, you know, sex, drugs, rock and roll, overeating, oversleeping, overthinking. This could be, you know, even gossiping too much about somebody. This could be also toxic people around you. Misery loves, com uh, misery loves company. So this could be, you know, people around you that are just doing the most to try to bring you down to their level. You're going to take a time out, weigh your options, pause, look at things from a different point of view. And then you're going to wind up detaching from a situation. You have a Queen of Cups energy around you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the mom of the queens. An honest, warm, supported, devoted, loving energy. Affectionate, kind. Show me. You will be holding on tightly to something. Okay? So it could be anything. It could even be your words. It could be your money. You know. It could be anything. <clears throat> Could be your opinions I'm hearing. I don't know. Okay. Now you have the six of pentacles in reverse. So this talks about desire, envy, or jealousy. So there could be people around you that are feeling that way towards you. Um, or maybe you're feeling that way towards somebody. But there's some fast coming information that's going to bring a breakthrough. There could be an irresponsible, you know, person around you that's financially, you know, in um, dire straits, I'm hearing. <laughs> Maybe because of some toxicity that they're doing or the toxicity around you or this page of pentacles would be a toxic person. Maybe they're trying to, you know, misery loves company. You're going to take a time out and weigh your options and then you're going to choose to detach from some kind of a situation. There is another loving energy around you. This this archetype is warm, the mom, affectionate, kind. You will be holding on tightly maybe to, you know. Whatever it is, you're going to be holding on tightly to. It could be anything for anybody, right? Now you got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So this is, you know, desire, envy, jealousy. So be careful with that. Yeah, Virgo? Thank you. Until tomorrow. Next up is Leo. Hey, Leo. How are you guys? Hope everything's great in case somebody told you today I love you. Show me what Leo needs to see, please, and thank you. Well, some of you are sitting in a place of... Uh, you know, disgust, regret, not being fulfilled. You know, four of cups is, <clears throat> is you know, weariness and loss and sadness. But just stand in your ground. Just stand in your ground. Whatever, you know, whatever situation you're in, you, you are standing your ground. Now you got this three of wands in reverse. This means that, you know, this ends of trouble, this, you know, disappointment. Um, there could be some suspense in the situation. Um, you're not waiting for your ships to come in. So you're not, you know, yeah. And then you got this Eight of Swords. This is in reverse. This is, you know, treachery, difficulty, you know, fatality. That could, you know, yeah. Be careful. <clears throat> Some of you could be hearing about somebody passing away. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in and turning in your favor. This is now Sagittarian energy. Okay, let's see what else we have. 
There's a Knight of Pentacles around you, or this could be you, depending on your birth placement. This Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's financially, you know, on their way to stability. They're solid. They're trustworthy. Um, you know, they're definitely reliable and um, stubborn, but responsible. Uh, surrounding you in your environment is your ultimate happiness. This is happy wife, happy life. This is, you know, everybody just as happy as they could be, okay? Financial security and uh, food on the table. There's going to be a breakthrough in a situation for you today. Oh, look at this. Leo, what a great reading, okay? So the world is completion and ultimate success. And then, you know, taking a new leap of faith. So what this is saying is that take this leap of faith, whatever it is, because it's going to bring you to... I mean, the happiest place, right? There will be a breakthrough. So um, this fairness and balance, this is also a Libra archetype. So take that leap of faith because it's going to bring you ultimate happiness, whatever it is. Because you have ultimate happiness on the side and a, of, of each of this justice card and a breakthrough. So yeah, take that leap of faith. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor and your finances are going to get better and everything. So go for it, Leo. I'm on your side. Best of everything. Until tomorrow. Next up is Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. Hi, Cancer. How are you guys? In case nobody told you today, I love you, Cancer. Here we go. Show me what Cancer needs to see, please, and thank you. Cancer. Okay, Knight of Swords. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This knight is skillful, brave, straightforward. He could have a temper. In for a good time, not for a long time. So this could be you or somebody around you. Usually a younger person. And you you know, you could have some incoming information. You got an ace of wands. The ace of wands is success and passion. So maybe this knight of swords character is bringing, you know, male or female, is bringing you in some something successful that you're going to feel passionate about, right? Six of wands. Yeah, victory. Yeah, victory. It's going to, you know, this is going to be victorious, whatever it is. This is good. This is good, Cancer. Sorry, I was snoring like an old man here. <clears throat> Can I have some more for Cancer, please? And thank you. Okay, Three of Pentacles. This is apprenticeship. This is learning how to do things differently, okay? This is, you know, skilled labor. So, you know, honing it on your craft. Teaching people how to do things, right? Seven of Cups in reverse. This is, you know, this is deciding on a particular option. This is taking all the options off the table and making a firm decision to go in one direction or with one option, whatever that is for you, okay? You have this Ace of Swords. This is the truth, the facts, a breakthrough, a triumph, a conquest. The facts, the facts, okay? So there could be a breakthrough in a situation. You could be getting the truth about something. It's going to bring you into, you know, victorious. Yeah. Four of Cups. Okay, so this is weariness. This is disgust. This is, you know, sitting here, mocus Marcus. Yeah. You know, worried about these cups down here when, you know, you don't see, like, you're not looking towards your future, okay? You're not even looking up. I mean, yeah. Show me. Show me cancer, please, and thank you. Okay, cancer. Justice. There will be a breakthrough in a situation that will bring fairness and balance. This is now a Libra card. This might make you take a time out, pause, reflect, and look at things from a different point of view. So you got this fast-moving Knight of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In for a good time, not for a long time. Then you have, you know, success and passion in the situation and victory. So whatever this is, it's, you're going to be successful, passionate, and victorious, okay? You might have to learn how to do something new or hone your your skills, okay? This is what I'm hearing, honing in on your skills. Um, you're taking all the options off the table. You're making a clear decision about something. Uh, you have this Eight of Swords. This is a breakthrough, the truth, the conquest, the triumph. Uh, just don't be sitting here like Mocus Marcus over here, worried about, you know. This is somebody who's very unfulfilled. You know, they're not happy with what they have. Fairness and balance in a situation. This is uh, Libra, and uh, this is going to make you take a time out and weigh your options. So thank you, Cancer. Until tomorrow, love and light. <clears throat> Next up is Gemini. 
Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Hi, Gemini. How are you guys? In case nobody told you today, I love you. Here we go. Tell me, Gemini, please. What does Gemini see for? You need to see for their higher good, please, and thank you. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, three of wands, crossroads, waiting for your ships to come in and then deciding which one to get on. Uh, taking a leap of faith. So you will be taking a leap of faith in some area of your life today. This is an Aries card. Now you have death. This is changing and transformation. This is a Scorpio energy. So you're going to be taking a leap of faith about maybe changing something in an area of your life, right? You're going to try something new and different, I'm hearing. You have this page of cups archetype. This is either you or somebody around you. This is a warmer, loving, kid brother kind energy. It's somebody who's younger, a little bit immature, but, um, you know, innocent and playful. Oh, Jesus. Now you got this squirrel. You got a lot of Scorpio energy. Yeah, you do. Hmm. All right, so the tower is also Scorpio energy. This is a shock, a surprise. This is divine coming in to give you a kick in the ass. Yeah. That's what this is. So you're going to have some kind of a shock and surprise today. And maybe it's going to be something that you're going to want to take a leap of faith towards. Or maybe it's going to be something about this ending of a situation that you don't know about. Be coming in on this messenger because pages are usually messengers. Okay, Queen of Swords. This is somebody who's not thinking. They're very mean. They're malicious. They're deceitful. They could be talking behind your back. All right, just doing the most. And then you got this Chariot card that, in reverse, something is not going to be moving as quickly as you would like it to. Okay, show me. Okay, Ace of Swords, there's a breakthrough in the truth. These are the facts. Okay, this is a triumph and a conquest. This is like bittersweet. I'm getting bittersweet with this reading right here. Show me. Okay, Leo energy, the strength. You're going to have to, you know, this is inner resilience. This is controlling yourself. This is, you know, showing strength and persevering through whatever it is. So here you go. You have these crossroads here that you're at. Um, you know, this is waiting for your ships to come in, deciding which one to get on. And it could be also, you know, discovery, you know, going out to discover stuff. And take, all right, so you're going to be taking a leap of faith. This is an Aries archetype. So whatever ship's coming in, maybe you're going to take a leap of faith on it. My nose is itching. You have this uh, death. That's the ending and a transformation of a situation. So you could also could be taking a leap of faith to completely end something and transform something in your life. You got this uh, messenger coming in. You know, it's an innocent kind message, whatever it is. But it could have something to do with ending and transforming because the tower and the death is, you know, the spirit coming in to give you a kick in the ass to change and transform things. So something's definitely changing and transforming for you, Gemini. Uh, just make sure, you, you know, that you're being kind in case this is you, Queen of Swords, because it is air energy and you're using your head and you're not being deceitful or malicious or mean to anybody or anyone's doing that to you. Something might not be moving as quickly as you like with this chariot in reverse, but there will be a breakthrough, the truth, the conquest. You just have to be strong, okay? So there you go. Thank you, Gemini. Till tomorrow. <clears throat> Next up is Taurus. 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 Hi, Taurus. How are you guys? In case nobody told you today, I love you. Here we go. Show me Taurus. My gosh, Taurus. Okay. Gemini energy around you, or this is you if you have Gemini in your chart. But this is somebody who's manifesting, you know, having all the tools they need and making stuff happen. Okay? This could also be somebody that's doing tricks. Whether on you or, you know, whatever. You have this Three of Pentacles, this is apprenticeship. This is honing in on your skills, learning how to, you know, do things or teaching somebody else how to do it. You also have the sun here. This is beauty, brilliance, illumination, completion, happiness. I mean, yeah. And the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. So these two cards together, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor to make you completely happy. So whatever this is, is turning in your favor, it's going to, yeah, you're going to be really happy. The Wheel of Fortune and the Sun together, my own. Knights of Cups. Okay, this knight, male or female, could be coming in to offer you a cup of love if it's a you know if it's a relationship or just a friendship. But um, it's kind. Uh, he's like the big brother of the bunch. It's warm. It's friendly. You know, 
it's trustworthy. You got an ace of swords. There will be a breakthrough in the truth in a situation. This is a conquest. These are the facts, okay? Show me, please, and thank you. Weighing your options in a need of balance. So, you get, you know, maybe this truth coming in, maybe this knight of, so uh, knight of cups is bringing you this truth. But it's going to illuminate things. It's going to make things, it's going to make you very happy. The world fortune is going to be turning in your favor. You might have to learn how to do something new. So you're going to be weighing your options and a need of balance at this point. Whatever this truth is, it might knock you, you know, you got the world in reverse. So maybe you're going to find out that something's not going to be completely sex, su successful the way you wanted it to. Or it's not, you know, maybe you've got some a situation in your life is going to be coming to completion, but it's not right now. Um, maybe that's why you're going to be needing to weigh your options and then need a balance. Show me. One more for Taurus, please. One more for Taurus. Can I please have one more for Taurus? Please and thank you. Okay, you got it. High Priestess. Gemini Energy. This is, you know, using your intuition. Um... You know, knowing which way to go, knowing what to do. You have all the answers that you know, right? Inside of yourself. You don't need to, uh, you know, consult with anybody. Your intuition is on point here. Because you got the Gemini Magician and the Gemini High Priestess. So, you're manifesting something, whatever that is for you. Maybe, you know, Three of Pentacles is learning how to do something different. Honing in on your skills. So, you know, whatever you're manifesting, you might have to be learning how to do something different. Or teaching, teaching people how to do something. But this is going to bring you ultimate happiness and completion in a situation. This is now a Leo card. So you got Gemini, Leo. The Wheel of Fortune is uh, Sagittarius. This is turning in your favor for good luck. Especially next to the sun there. That's like really good luck. You got this Knight of Cups archetype, male or female. This is like the big brother. Warm, friendly, playful, trustworthy. And maybe he's bringing you in some kind of a truth, a breakthrough. Or uh, some, some kind of conquest. But these are the facts. This might make you have to stop. Weigh your options. You know. In need of some balance. Maybe something's not coming to complete fruition like you'd like it to. At least not yet. But you're going to be using your intuition on whatever this is. So thank you, Taurus. Until tomorrow. Love and light. Next up is Aries. Last but not least. Aries, Aries, Aries. Hey, Aries. How are you guys? In case nobody told you today, uh, well, I guess that was a disaster. I love you, okay? Show me what Aries needs to see, please, and thank you. Show me what Aries needs to see, please, and thank you. One more for Aries. Clear and ground my energy. Thank you. Okay, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. I don't want to do that because it's going to mix the cards up in two different directions. And we don't do that around here because I like to read reversals, right? Right. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that hot mess of a shuffle, guys. <clears throat> if I was going any slower, I'd be moving backwards today. Show me Aries, please and thank you. <clears throat> the Tower. Well, Aries, this is Scorpio energy. This is the divine coming in to give you a kick in the ass. A shock or a surprise today. You also may be deciding to um, abandon a situation, I'm hearing, because in this card, you know, the, this, pe this guy especially is deciding to jump out of the tower and burn. So, you know, you might, yeah. Uh, whatever this is, though, whatever the shock and surprise is, it's going to be a good one, I think, because Nine of Swords in reverse is, you know, coming out of stress. Um, hmm. Someone could also be going to prison. You might... <laughs> oh, my own. Don't tell me that. Okay, with the nice, Nine of Swords in... Nine of Swords in reverse, there could be imprisonment. There could be suspicion of somebody doing something for Gazy. Uh, with this shock and surprise, you might find out, actually, that someone went to prison, Aries. I hope it's not you. My God. <clears throat> hmm. Show me. Show me for Aries. Okay, Aries. Let's see. This is getting... Oh, Ten of Swords. Well, if you find out somebody's going huh, to prison, it's because of some kind of a painful ending and destruction, destructive thing they did. Oh, yeah. This could involve some legalities now. We got this Hierophant, right? 
So there was a painful ending and destruction at the at the foundation of this. All right. And, uh, you know, this could also be spiritual imprisonment and emotional imprisonment. It doesn't have to be like Rikers Island type prison. But coming in next to this tower card, which is, you know, yeah, a surprise and a shock. And then with this hierophant, which is, you know, traditionalism, legalities, um, you know, it could be courts of law, like the Pope. It could be a marriage, it could, you know, divorce. So there could have been a very painful ending. It could have involved a divorce or somebody doing the most to you. If that's the case, they get in court. Trust me, look at this. Wow. Big time. Okay, chariot in reverse. So this is cancer now. Uh, something's not moving as quickly as you would like it to, maybe coming into your near future, okay? So the Hierophant, I think I said, was Taurus. The Tower is Scorpio, and now the Chariot is Cancer. Oh, this is some crazy reading. Okay, there's a lot of burdens involved with this, okay? This is a lot of burdens, maybe on you or somebody else. Okay, yeah. Wow. Six of Cups. You could be feeling very nostalgic about this. It's in your environment. Nostalgia. You got the Queen of Wands. This is you, Aries. The Fire Queen. This is somebody who's unemotional. You know, no nonsense. Friendly but cold. Resting bitch face. Okay, this is, she's organized. She's fair. She will serve you dinner. And you can approach her and talk to her. But she'll just as soon stick that fork in your head. You know, it's like that. It's like that. That's the way it is. This is what I'm hearing now. Uh, whatever this situation is, you're going to come out on top, Aries. You're coming out on top. This is the sun. This is completion. It's going to end a whole cycle for you. This is ultimate happiness. This is a Leo archetype now. So some of you may have Leo in your chart. So let's do this again. You have this Scorpio energy to have. A spirit coming in to give you a kick in the ass. A surprise, a shock. It could be about somebody who did some fugazi shit to you next to this ten of swords, right? They put these swords in your back, and now maybe you're going to hear that they're going to prison or they're in some kind of legal trouble for something, right? Because you got this hierophant here now. This hierophant is, like I said, any legalities, any traditionalism. This is the Taurus energy. Now you got this cancer energy, this chariot, but it's in reverse. So it might be going a little slow, and it might be a little burdensome, and you might be feeling a little nostalgic, but, you know... Get into, your, get into your own energy here because this is what it is. Spirit is advising you to be yourself. Be strong, no nonsense, unemotional. Cut those cords. You know, forget about this nostalgic because this is going to bring you into the ultimate happiness. And this is a Leo archetype. So that is one really serious reading. I, if, if this is anybody that's resonating with this, please let me know how this goes out because, yeah, wow. Okay, so thank you so much. Don't forget... So Delilah says goodbye. Lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. And apparently there it is. So thank you so much until tomorrow. Love and light.